in this video I want to go over how to make subject of a formula so to change the subject here this is an equation or this is a formula which tells me that uh, the subject here is y and you want to change the subject from x sorry from y to x so here the subject is y so it's y equal to x plus 2 over 2 minus x and we want to write x is equal to something our ultimate goal is x is equal to what okay so x is the subject we want to make okay so what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of this 2 minus x in the denominator so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 minus x so if you multiply this side by 2 minus x I'll put this in the bracket 2 plus x, x plus 2 over 2 minus x 2 minus x so let me write this again properly so this is x plus 2 over 2 minus x times 2 minus x so multiplying both side by 2 minus x so you can cancel this 2 minus x with this 2 minus x so don't have a denominator now so you've got I'll expand this so this is 2y minus xy is equal to x plus is equal to x plus 2 so what I want to do is I want to isolate the x on one side and the number on the or uh, and the rest on the other side so what can I do so I'm go, going to add xy to this side so to add xy to this side okay I want x on the right left right hand side and I want to I'll take away 2 from this side so to take away 2 from this side so this is two sides of an equation so what will happen so now you can cancel the plus 2 and minus 2 here minus xy and plus xy okay so here what has happened now so this is 2y minus 2 is equal to x plus xy okay so this I'm going to write now this is 2 times y minus 2 times 1 this is one step where students struggle so this is x times 1 plus x times y this step is not necessary but I'm exp I want to explain the next step which is difficult for some of you so I can factor the 2 out. If you factor the 2 out, you can write y minus 1 here like this. And if you factor the x out here, you can write 1, 1 plus y. Okay, so and now I'm going to divide both sides by 1 plus y. If you divide this side by 1 plus y, you can also divide this side by 1 plus y. Okay, so what will happen? this 1 plus y and 1 plus y gets cancelled so the ultimate answer in terms of x so we can say this implies 2 times y minus 1 over y plus 1 is equal to x so we have made x the subject so if you go in a systematic manner though it's very complicated looks very daunting if you go slowly it's basis it's not that difficult okay so let's look at the next question y minus phi is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 so what can we do i want to get rid of this uh, x minus 1 so i'm going to multiply this side by x minus 1 so to also multiply this side by x let me delete this i'm going to multiply both side by x minus 1 just like that so this and this gets cancelled so you're left with x minus 1 times y minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1 okay so now you have to expand this out so this is using foil method x times y is xy minus 5x minus y plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1 so I want to bring the 
x is on one side. So let me underline the x's. We've got an x here. Only focus on x. We've got an x here. We've got an x here. So this is without x. So this doesn't, these two doesn't have x and this doesn't do have. One doesn't have x. So let's bring the x's on the left hand side and the numbers on the other side. So let me do in a different way this time. I'm going to move this to this side. I'm going to move this to this side. Okay. So or uh, basically what you do is you're adding the opposite of this two on both sides. So this will become xy minus 5x. I'm adding or taking away 2x from both sides. So minus 2x is equal to I'm adding y to both sides. So this will get cancelled. You got y here and taking away 5 from this side. Okay, so this minus y became plus y and plus 5 became minus 5. Okay, so let's simplify this a bit more. So this is xy. This is minus 7x is equal to y minus 4. Okay, we're almost there. So I can factor the x out. If you factor the x out, you've got y minus 7 is equal to y minus 4. I can divide both sides by y minus 7. So x is a subject, so it is y minus 4 over y minus 7. Just like that. And this is your final answer. Okay, so let me do one more. Okay, now this is to the radical. So let me bring x's on one side. So I'm going to take away 4 from this side. So take away 4 from this side. So I'm going to, I can write y minus 4 is equal to square root of x minus 1. So I want to remove this radical a square root. So I have to square both sides. So if you square this side, it also square this side. So this is y minus 4, y minus 4. times y minus 4 is equal to x minus 1. Okay, I don't need to expand this, so let us keep it as it is. So this is y minus 4, the whole squared, adding 1 to both sides, plus 1 is equal to x. So this is pretty easy, and this is your final answer. Okay, now, yeah, <clears throat> this is a formula, A, is the interior angle of a polygon and to find the interior angle of a polygon this is a formula where n is the number of sides n is the number of sides n is the number of sides of a regular polygon number of sides number of sides of a regular polygon number of sides of a regular polygon. So this is the formula for to find the number, uh, the interior angle of a regular polygon, where n is the number of polygon, which is n minus 2 times 180 degree divided by 2. I want to make n the subject. So I'm going to multiply both sides by n. So a times n, if you multiply this side by n, it also multiply this side by n. So this is a n, writing in alphabetic order. So n and n gets cancelled. This is 180 times n minus 2. So this is a n is equal to expanding this out. This is 180 n minus 360. Okay, so let's bring the n's together. So, so this is a n, I'm going to take away 180 n from both sides, minus 180 n is equal to minus 360. Okay, so this is a n minus 180 n is 360, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So multiply this side by negative 1, but also multiply this side by negative 1. So this becomes... <coughs> minus a n plus 180 n is equal to 360. So 
So let me write this in the other order. So 180n minus a n is equal to 360. Negative times negative is positive. So we can factor the n out. So if you factor the n out, we got 180 minus a is equal to 360. So the number of sides is 360. So this formula is useful when you know the interior angle of a regular polygon. Okay, one 360 divided by 180 minus a, dividing both sides by 180 minus a. Now in this polygon, I know already this is a poly or 12-sided polygon, and this angle is how much? Uh, this angle is uh, suppose okay or suppose if someone let's make up a random uh, question suppose a the interior angle of a polygon is given to be say uh, 54 degrees okay if it is 50 or oh, let me take a neat number suppose it is say mm, uh, uh, let's say 54 degrees okay so 54 may not be possible so let's just put n there so or a n would be 360 divided by 180 minus 54 it should be a neat number you can't have a decimal number so let's try probably this is not this will also tell me that my uh, 54 is right or wrong okay so this is 360 divided by 180 minus 54 okay which is this is not right okay so what do we know so let's take say this is 90 degrees okay so if this is 90 I know in a rectangle you've got 90 so this is 360 so I think we can do this in a without a calculator so this is 360 divided by 90 which is 4. So this is a rectangle. So the interior angle of a rectangle is is right angle. So you've got four sides. Okay, 54 was not a good choice.